Alright, in this video, I'll be doing a comparison of these two cubes. This is the Aosu WRM. This is the Aosu GTS 2M. This is the ink version, actually. Alright, first for price, the WRM is actually a bit cheaper than this cube. I think this is around $5 less than this one. It's around 40 bucks, I think. So, I think it's a pretty good trend that cubes are getting a bit less expensive, so it's more accessible to newer cubers. So the size difference is pretty apparent. This is around 61 millimeters. This is around 59. Kind of see that. I'll go more into that later in the video, but for now, just know that WRM is a bit smaller. As for shades, Moe did change up the shades a tiny bit. Don't worry too much about this. Most people should adjust to this like pretty well. You can see the green's a bit darker. Red, blue, orange, white's the same, honestly, and then yellow. So yeah, pretty similar shades, but maybe the green's a bit darker, but anyone should adjust to them pretty easily. All right, now for magnets. For me, at least, it seems like the WRM has stronger magnets, so inner layers are quite strong. Well, the also GCS2, it's a tiny bit weaker. Same for the outers. These are pretty strong. Well, not that strong because they're outers, but they're more noticeable than on this one, which is a bit lighter. So yeah, magnet strings are pretty similar, but the WRM has a tiny bit stronger magnets. As for turning, they both have that similar Moyu kind of feel, but the also GS2 is a bit like a more of an airy turning. Well, the WRM is more of a compact feeling. You can tell that's a bit lower pitch from the sound. Since the mechanisms are pretty similar, everything else should be pretty similar, so contrasting is not too frequent from both. Corn coating is also pretty good on both. Corn guts here, corn guts here, so it's pretty similar there. Reverse here, reverse here. I do find that on the GTS2M, it's a tiny bit better. Maybe just the tensions, but I feel like the GTS2 is a bit better with um, corn cutting and all that kind of stuff. Stability on both of these cubes are pretty good, but I also think that I get a few more lockups on the WRM compared to the GTS2. So yeah, these cubes are actually pretty similar, but the main determining thing is the size. So I'm going to talk about that a bit more now. So my main as of right now is actually going to be the WRM, and that's mostly because of the size, and here's why. The outer layers being a bit smaller actually helps a lot with the battery stage, so I get to do a lot of nice finger tricks that are a bit easier on this cube than this. So like, this kind of finger trick, like on the J-Con, it's a bit easier here. Also for like, flips, like this. Stuff like U2s on right and left are also a bit easier, and then stuff like pushes are also a bit easier, and maybe E2s. These are all doable on this cube, but I feel like they're a tiny bit less comfortable on this cube because it is a bit bigger and a bit clunkier. One con that I did find is that I lock up a tiny bit more during PLL parity, so it's this thing. Maybe it's because my finger is getting caught a bit here in the back. I'm not sure, but I do lock up a tiny bit more on this cube compared to this cube. Alright, so which do I recommend? So if you already have this cube and you're thinking about getting this cube, the main thing is just the size and if you're willing to pay $40 for a smaller cube that performs just as well. I think if you have smaller hands or you think that you just enjoy this kind of feeling for 4x4, this is actually pretty worth it for the 40 bucks. However, if you have bigger hands and you don't think you'll like these smaller layers, the GTS2 is perfectly fine and they perform pretty similarly. However, if you have none of these cubes and you want to buy a new 4x4, I think the WRM is going to be a safer choice, mainly because I think the smaller size is better and it's also cheaper, so that's also pretty nice. So yeah, that's my comparison between these two cubes. They're both extremely good, but I prefer this one a bit more. Maybe you guys have different personal preferences, which you can leave in the comments. So yeah, thanks for watching.